for you, you know, emotionally and mentally. Um, over there, that was he was my guy for that. He kept me level when I pitched my tantrums that no one here ever saw. I did. I know. <laughs> Everybody saw. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, but always, and I still, I was just telling Sonia, I still remember when I was working the rear deck for the 141, just calling him almost every day because I didn't know what I was doing, and he had all the answers, and I could still hear him answering that phone and hitting that speaker button. What, Beeler? What? <laughs> and uh, he always got me through every bind, and uh, it was a really good time, and, and I was I remember every morning after our shift when we were in Afghanistan, we would go to the Green Bean <laughs> and we see it. And then we had our we, what we called a morning show, which was just bitching about report writing and interrogating. That's all it was. We would just have coffees and he'd smoke his cigar. And, uh, what, are you, what are you bitching about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not, you know, the day shift? Yeah. <laughs> Not day shift. I had a lot of day shift. Just don't get on my volleyball court. And, uh, we did get second place, yeah. Um, but overall, he just was always my go-to guy. And uh, I'm blessed that I'm, I'm here and it is a reunion. I haven't seen most of you in 10 years plus. And I uh, had a great visit with him the other day and Gaskell came. He flew in and we had Hodges and... Uh, we were able to cut it up for the family and let them have a dose of what it was all about. And I'm pretty sure the whole time after we were here for three hours, Jeff was just like, Beeler's still talking. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, overall, y'all, everybody here knows he's one of the best humans you could have ever encountered. And uh, if you ever needed one thing, he would do everything he could at that very moment and drop it. And uh, we're all fortunate to be here and be able to celebrate his life with him. I've got a story. Um, 